So let us learn from Jesus. Let us practice humility. Let us also shout, we are unprofitable pedants. We have only done our duty. These words are not expression of sadness. Rather, it is a cry of joy. It is a cry of gladness for having served as the voice of Christ to those in need. May the Christian people exalt, O Lord, at the glorification of the illustrious members of your Son's body. And may they gain a share in the eternal lot of the saints, on whose feast day they reaffirm their devotion to you, rejoicing with them forever in your glory, through Christ our Lord. For Associate Justice Ramon Paul Fernando, we pray that you will continue to bless him with strength, courage, and wisdom. May you always protect him and his loved ones, and in everything that they do for our community and our country, for our graduates, awardees, and the School of Law community. We thank you, Father, for their never-ceasing love for knowledge and teaching. We pray that you will bless them as they selflessly dedicate their lives to molding the youth and in building our country. For the power vested upon me, Director President of San Beda University, I, retired Justice Adolfo S. Ascuna, do hereby reaffirm and validate the degree of Master of Laws to the 20 faculty members of the School of Law of San Beda College, Alabama, granted to them by San Beda University Graduate School of Law, last 3 December, Sandra N. Aquino Rodolfo Q. Bulatao Bienvenido O. Cabochan Jonas Florentino L. Cadugo Junior Roben B. Capellan Jesus Vicente B. Acome John Hart. Mancenido, Gaya, Joella Vida V. Padilla, Rafael, Angelo M. Dean, Romero, Maria, Isabel P. Salazar, the third, Roderick, Ronald C. Sarmiento, Patrick P. Serio, Gerald C. Suavillo Makababad Noemi L. Tanyak Lauren Rose R. Trinidad Ana Marie Melanie B. Umos the third Paulino Q. Last but not definitely the least, Yamamoto Santos Maria Eliza Camille B. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause to the 20 glorious graduates of San Beda University Graduate School of Law with a degree of Master of Laws. Congratulations! May I now 
call on stage to on behalf of their band, the duly elected class valedictorian, the epitome of a true bedan, attorney Jonas Florentino L. Gabuchan. It is therefore time to ask ourselves, what can we do to truly make these letters count? My answer is simple. It is the time to give back. It is the time to look beyond ourselves so that people will think of us with a smile in their hearts. We give back to San Beda, we give back to our country, and above all, we give back the glory to God. I have the honor to hereby petition to enter the name Dr. Ramon Paul L. Hernando, Justice of the Supreme Court, as the first distinguished honorary alumni of San Beda College, Alabama, effective this day, the seventh day of December, in the year of our Lord, 2020. The Honorable Justice Ramon Paul L. Hernando exemplifies the Benedictine values of faith, knowledge, and virtue, and epitomizes a fully human, holy Christian, truly Filipino, and globally competitive individual. series of 2022 and by the power vested in me as humble chairperson of the Legal Education Board do confirm the authority of the San Beda College Alabang to grant the degree Doctor of Laws Honoris Causa to its esteemed honoree an individual who has exemplary accomplishments in law, justice, governance, leadership, and public service. The Honorable Justice Ramon Paul L. Hernando, 180th Associate Justice of the Supreme Court, today, the 7th of December, 2022, in San Beda College, Alabang, Muntinlupa City. San Beda College, Alabang, may confer the degree of Doctor of Laws Honoris Causa to Honorable Ramon Paul L. Hernando, Justice of the Supreme Court of the Philippines. Having received favorable authority from the Legal Education Board of the Philippines, San Beda College Alabang hereby confers the degree in recognition 
of excellent, impeccable, and dedicated years of service to the government. This stand for what I believe to be the basic role of a judge to seek and apply justice in every possible way. Not just for the simple reason that it is their obligation to do so, but because it is the right thing to do.